Hi, I'm Nico and welcome to my channel. As most of you probably know, I only use water-based acrylics. But for today's video, we're playing with oil paints. After looking at my recently finished build, I felt that it was lacking some more dirtiness to it. And since this is going to be an article on fine scale modeler, I just couldn't pass up on not fixing it so I bought oil paints. There is a lot to say about oil weathering. For starters, the longer drying time means more flexibility for adjustments and clean up. Model painters are probably familiar with the three most common types of hobby paints, namely acrylic, enamel, and lockers. The oil paint used for oil weathering belongs to an entirely new family, artist oils. There are countless artist oil brands out there for you to choose from. Today, we're using regular artist branded oil paint tubes. In this case, you may need to mix and match some colors together in order to obtain a precise shade for a wash or effect, since artist oil colors come in somewhat limited sets of pigments. That shouldn't be a bother though, since Gunpla modelers love to mix their own custom colors. The main thinning agent present in artist oils is linseed oil. It is a thick natural oil which is completely harmless to paint and plastic kits. It slows down the curing time and leaves the paint glossy, which is not desired on most weathering effects. But simply top coating with the matte or satin varnish afterwards takes care of that problem easily. Now what I want to do is to simply apply some oil wash around the slash marks and damages. Simply to get a feel of the oil paints considering that this is a first for me. I am using a paint gray and simply adding some linseed oil to get it to wash consistency. What's awesome about oil paints is the longer drying time, meaning you're not rushing to blend the edges. Besides, oil paints do not leave watermarks, unlike acrylics, although I do suggest still blending it so it's not too harsh looking. Like I mentioned previously, this is going to be glossy and it's not going to dry until probably overnight or tomorrow morning, which I personally think is a good thing, cause you can still blend or erase the oil paint tomorrow. Learning how to use oil paints for weathering is definitely a skill worth developing. I am certainly no expert, but I am starting to get the idea. It does take some practice to get the paint to do what you want it to but I enjoyed the experimentation. Now another new thing that I learned today is that oil paint is kinda transparent but rich in pigment, so I can put it on where I want it. Don't worry much about how it looks, then even after 10 minutes, I can still blend it or feather it out. And based on what I read with oils is that there is no binder, so it never really dries and gets permanent. So you can work with it for a long time. And if you don't like how it turns out, just wipe it away with something moistened with a q-tip or linseed oil. This also makes it essential that once you're done, seal it with the top coat, especially if you're going to do further work with oil paint or pigments on top of it. As you continue using it, you'll better understand how oil paints interacts with others and be better equipped to get the result you want on any model. Also, you can't really do layers upon layers of weathering when it comes to oils because it's just gonna reactivate the layer underneath since that is still wet. So, if you want to add another layer, then you have to wait until the first layer has dried. The next thing that I want to do is to do stippling. 
Stippling is a method of painting where you load the brush with paint and then apply it to the model in gentle stabbing motions. This creates a light dusty effect, a discoloration effect, or it can also create rain marks on flat surfaces where water tends to pool and not streak down. I'm also doing stippling as a way to add a bit of shading to the kit without needing to use an airbrush. I have a sap green color mixed with a bit of linseed oil that I'm going to stipple on areas where shadows are supposed to be. If your stippling ended up being too harsh, just stipple over it with a q-tip and that will soften it a bit. Then, I have this Naples yellow light that can create the dusty effect on the Zaku kit. I'm just doing the same process of stippling on the flat areas where water and dust will stay and collect instead of streaking down. Now we're doing streaking. Streaking is an element of weathering that really makes a model come alive and look real. Streaks are done with a bit more thinking involved. Looking at reference pictures is key. The application technique is placing dots on areas where you want the streaking to be. Then, your brush dampened in linseed oil streak the dots along the direction gravity would pull them. Once you get the hang of it, this effect can really bring your gunpla kit to life. Before we get to the reveal, I wanted to let you guys know that I have a Patreon page. It would be awesome to have your support there. And in return, you'll get cool benefits like tutorials in PDF format and more. Links down below. Weathering with oils is practically the same as using any other paints. It just offers something different, which is the longer drying time and flexibility of it. And personally, I think it's more vibrant. Also, I would never ever claim this is the right way. Just a way to do it. You may find variations that are helpful to you. Feel free to share them with me at the comments below. The key, like with everything, is patience and practice. Thanks for watching! Please like, comment, and subscribe and watch my other videos.